I had a big, big fight with one of the Bulldogs, the British Bulldogs, backstage. That was like 10 years ago. For I, real, right? This is a, a big work. fight. Uh, something cut a sock on my things, and I went to complain to Vince McMahon that it was a British Bulldog because Mr. Perfect told me it was him, and it wasn't <laughs> true. So I, no, I just go to show you how small things get bigger. Or cut a sock. So then when I came back, I told Kurt Enning, which I was playing cards with him, I said, I'm going to tell Vince because I'm not going to stand in winter to come out with my, either my clothes cut or blah, blah. They were playing jokes, but it wasn't really him that did it. Long story short, he comes and beats me up in Miami in the dressing room because I'm going to stooge and tell Vince what's going on. So I get beat, beat up? up. British Bulldog, really? Dynamite Kid. He really screwed me up bad, kicking me in the face and everything in the back. I was playing cards with Kurt Enning, and he came from behind, and he slapped me. I well, was... you do cross a level when you Did start you? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I made a comeback. Well, that's where I'm coming back to stating your point. Is a week later, and for four days, I was on depression in the dressing room. I didn't want to wrestle no more. I wanted to go home. I was with my brother Raymond. And then we didn't even speak for four days in the car. And then I told my brother Raymond four days later, I said, Raymond, that was the first time I spoke to him. I said, I'm making my comeback in Fort Wayne, Indiana next week in front of Vince, Macho Man, and Hulk, and everybody. And I did. But then Vince McMahon stepped in and had a meeting and, and all well, that stuff. So. Gotta cut you off. We'll go to break. You? What an amazing story. Great insight. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Jacques, take us through the footage right now because there's something so significant about you. The Mountie. You wrestled the Hulk and... The Mountie always and... gets his man. <laughs> Roll least... tape. No, 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 no. That was one of my most uh, important moments in my career at the Molson Center. It was 18,000 people. And no one would have expected Hulk Hogan to, uh, to get beat. And obviously, uh, to be honest, if we know the business today, it's a, it's a help in and help out. And Hulk always said, you know, a lot of people think the most important match in an evening is the last one. Did he hurt you well, there? Yes, very that much. Looked <laughs> wicked. But I got to tell you, Hulk gave me so much respect when he came to Montreal. He said, Jock, he says, I'm going to go ahead and let you win this match in Montreal. It's your home. Here it comes. Here's the finish. And believe me, he says, out of all, all the package. years, he says, out of all the years that you helped me with your brother Raymond, and you opened the shows around the world, and you did a good job. He says, that's my way of repaying you. And Hulk, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You made me seem important in Montreal, and I thank you and very much. And you're the only Canadian, right? The only Canadian to ever beat him. I got a press conference, by the way, next Wednesday in Montreal, announcing my 10th of May show. Be there in Montreal. It's going to be a great, great show. My second son's starting to wrestle. I got one son that's wrestling, and my second one's debuting. TSN.ca slash OTR is our website. The Goods On. You'll tell us more about your unique family business, won't you? If you go on internet, www. Lutte familiale. Well, you go on our website, you can find it out as well. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to talk to you after the show. Yeah, the show. Thank you very much. We, we got, got a deal. We got a deal. You're an agent. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.